blessings to everybody. I said blessings to everybody. And la di da di. Listen, go ahead and invite your friends and invite your followers. I've got a word that I want to drop in your spirit on tonight. Got a word I want to drop in your spirit on tonight. I've got a woman of God who uh, actually sent me a testimony uh, right at about maybe two days ago. I haven't had an opportunity. As a matter of fact, I did have an opportunity to read it. But I won't have an opportunity to drop it into your spirits on tonight. But a woman of God gave me a testimony uh, right at about maybe two or three days ago. Uh, and she uh, blessed me for an encouraging prophetic word that I gave right at about two or three weeks ago. And she's actually in the process of closing on her new home. Come on, celebrate with her tonight. Can you celebrate with her tonight? I said she's in the process of closing on her new home. Can you celebrate with her on tonight? Is that lady Toya out there? A blessings to you, woman of God. Good to see you. Uh, so I will come with it maybe the next several days. Absolutely. Look at God. Yeah. I will actually come to you within maybe the next several days uh, with her testimony. Can everybody hear me clearly and see me clearly? Uh, if you can hear me and see me, can you type in a number one very quickly before I move on tonight? I want to make sure uh, that the word of God is going forth with clarity, uh, both in sight and in sound. I want to make sure you don't miss this on tonight because God's going to minister to your spirit on tonight. And I believe on tonight, I believe on tonight that the breakthrough anointing of the living God is present here tonight. I often tell people that this is not just a periscope, this is a divine moment. Can somebody type divine moment, divine moment? This is not just a periscope, but this is in fact a divine moment, and I believe that the breakthrough anointing of God is present on tonight. I don't care what it is you've been dealing with and what it is you have been going through. The word of God says that the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. I'm telling you, there is a breakthrough anointing that's present here tonight. Lift up your hands and open up your mouth everywhere and all around the globe and just in your own way. Let the enemy know that there is a breakthrough anointing present here tonight. Can somebody lift up their hands and thank God for a breakthrough anointing? Anybody here tonight need a breakthrough? I'm telling you, there is a breakthrough anointing that's present here tonight. There is no angel in heaven. There is no man and woman on earth. There is no devil in hell that will be able to keep you from what God has purposed you and what God has promised you in this season. For there is a breakthrough anointing on tonight. I've come to minister to those and to communicate and prophetically articulate and decree to those in whom are on the verge of giving up and lying down and dying and throwing in the towel and waving the flag of, waving the white flag of surrender that there are yet 49 days left in the year of 2020 and there are seven weeks left in the year of 2020. Somebody put 49. Somebody else put seven. There are 49 days. The spirit of the God, the spirit of the living God, the Holy Ghost reminded me tonight that there are yet 49 days left in the year of 2020. There are 49 days left within the year of 2020. And in that, there are seven weeks left in the year of 2020. God reminded me tonight, as he did last week, 
that if he created creation within six days and rested on the seventh day, sure enough, he can give you a miracle within 49 days. Are y'all listening? If God created creation within six days, how many know that God can give you a miracle within 49 days? If God created creation within six days, how many know that God can deliver you within 49 days? If God created creation within six days, how many know that God can heal your body within 49 days? If God created creation, my God, I feel glory tonight. I feel the presence of the living God tonight. If God created creation within six days, how many know that God can give you a breakthrough within 49 days? The word of God says that the woman with the issue of blood, of blood watch this now, said within herself, the word of God says that she said within herself. The word of God says that she said within herself. Because what you are saying within yourself means a lot more than what you are saying without yourself. What you are saying internally means more than what you are decreeing externally. The Bible says that she said within herself, if I can but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. The word of God says that immediately. The word of God says that immediately. It says straightway, which is by way of interpretation of our human vernacular, immediately. It says the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that I feel something pushing me in my back right now. And she felt in her body, the word of God says, that she was healed of that plague. Watch this now. She said and she felt. She said she felt she was. She said she felt and she was. She said it. And when she said it, she felt it. And when she felt it, she was it. Y'all ain't getting it. Y'all are y'all with me? She she said it. She says, if I can but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. The word of God decrees and declares and straightway. And straightway, the word straightway, uh, by, by way of, of, of our human vernacular interpretative, it, it, it means immediately and suddenly. It says the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. But the, watch this now. The thing that ignited her healing and her deliverance in motion was her declaration. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I said the very thing that ignited her healing into motion was her declaration. And she said, I want you to open your mouth tonight all around the globe. And I say all around the globe because we've got people here tonight that's from all around the globe, whether you are here catching it live, whether you're going to catch it by way of replay, we've got people here tonight all around the globe. I want you to decree and to declare and to prophetically communicate and articulate out of your own mouth that this is your hour of breakthrough. Open your mouth and decree and declare God is about to give me a breakthrough. It didn't happen in January, but God's about to give me a breakthrough. It didn't happen in February, but God's about to give me a breakthrough. It didn't happen in March or April or May, but God's about to give me a breakthrough. It didn't happen in June or July or August or September, but God's about to give me a breakthrough. It didn't happen in October, but God is about to give me a breakthrough. It didn't happen in the beginning of November, but yet there are 49 days left in the year of 2020, and I decree and declare out of my own mouth that God is about to give me 
a miraculous breakthrough. Can somebody lift up their hands tonight and out of your own mouth and out of your own spirit, decree and declare and let the angels in heaven know, let every man and woman on earth know, let the devil in hell know that God is about to give you a miraculous breakthrough. God said, remind the people tonight because there are those in whom I hear on tonight that are yet ready to throw in the towel, that are yet ready to lay down and die, that are yet ready to wave the white flag of surrender. He said, let them know tonight that there is yet 49 days left in the year of 2020. He said, remind them, my son, that if I created creation within six days, sure enough, I can give them a miracle within 49 days. That if I created creation within six days, sure enough, I can heal their bodies within 49 days. That if I created creation within six days, sure enough, I can deliver them within seven days. If I created creation within six days, sure enough, I can miraculously bring them out. Within 49 days, I am here to decree and to declare and to prophetically communicate and articulate that if God created creation within six days, you have got to know that God can give you a miracle within 49 days. Somebody lift up your hands and out of your mouth say, I know that's right. I, I know that's right. You're talking about a man who turned water into wine. You're talking about a man that stopped a funeral possession in a village called Name and gave a woman her son back. You're talking about a man who gave sight to the blind. You're talking about a man who made the deaf to hear. You're talking about a man who made the dumb to talk. You're talking about a man who made the lame to walk. You're talking about a man who walked into the house of a father in whose daughter had died and communicated and, and, and articulated and decreed and declared clack and declared Telathakuma, which is by which is by interpretation arise damsel arise. You're talking about a man who walked into a house where our man's daughter had died and spoke over her life one word. And death gave birth to life. I decree and declare that in this season of your life, death is about to give birth to life. I know that makes sense because it's faith. Faith doesn't make sense, but it makes, y'all ain't saying nothing, but it makes miracles. My old pastor, in whom I came under the prophetic, used to say all the time, Pastor Robert C. Blake Sr., he used to say all the time, he said, son, faith doesn't make sense, but faith does make miracles. Death is about to give life to birth. That young girl was on her way to dying, but Jesus walked in and spoke one word over her life. He said, Talatha which is by interpretation, arise damsel and death gave birth to life. I decree and declare that whatever was dying is about to give birth to life. God is about to give you a miracle. The Lord sent me here tonight to tell you it ain't over yet. Lift up your hands and let the enemy know that. 
Makabusi Arabakanda Masay. Lift up your hands. Mm-mm-mm. I feel the Holy Ghost pushing me in my back right now. That was my prophetic father. Pastor Robert C. Blake Sr., God rest his soul, was the man of God who ordained me, sanctified me, set me apart years ago as a prophet. He was one of the greatest prophets that ever laced and graced the very face of this earth. The man of God in whom the Lord used me. Uh, The man of God, rather, in whom the Lord used to ordain me. Into this company of prophets. The Lord sent me here tonight to tell every last one of you in whom have yet blood running through your vein and breath in your body, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare lay down. Don't you dare wave the white flag of surrender. Don't you dare walk away like a dead dog with his tail between his legs because God is about to get I said, God's about to give you a miracle. Can somebody lift up their hands and say, God's about to give me a miracle. God's about to give me a miracle. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know in whom the Lord is going to use to bring it to pass. But God is about to give me a miracle. 49 days left in the year of 2020, seven weeks. The Lord said to me, he said, remind the people of God that if I was able to create creation within six days, I can give them miracle within 49 days. And then if I was able to create creation within six days, he says, tell them I can give them a miracle within seven weeks. Is there anybody here tonight that really believe within the very depths of your heart that God can give you a miracle within 49 days if he created creation within six days? Is there anybody here tonight that really believe that God can give you a miracle within seven weeks if he created creation? Within six days, God can give you a miracle. And you want to know why? Because he's sovereign. That means he does whatever he wants to do, whenever he wants to do, through through whomever he desires to do it through. And can't nobody call him on it. Why? Because he is God. He is Jehovah. Paul says it's in him that I move. And it is in him that I live. And it is in him that I have my being. I share with the people of God right at about three years ago, one of my followers reminded me when Kamala Harris made it into office as the vice president, one of my followers, a couple of my followers, I should say, emailed me a couple of weeks ago and said, man of God, the God in you about three years ago called this very moment. See, that's what prophecy is all about. Prophecy doesn't wait until something happens to start talking about it. Prophecy talks about it before it happens because prophecy is a sure thing. Prophecy Prophecy doesn't have to wait until it comes to pass. Prophecy doesn't have to wait until it comes into fruition. Prophecy doesn't have to wait until it comes into manifestation. Prophecy talks about it before it even comes to pass. She says, man of God, a couple of my followers emailed me last week and said, man of God, you called it because right at about three years ago, the Lord spoke through you. And communicated that women were about to occupy 
seats of power and authority in our day and time like we have never seen before. Could I ask you a question? When have you ever seen a woman vice president in our day and time? The Holy, can somebody shout the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost, three years ago. Three, th listen, three years ago, and you better hear this, when nobody else was talking about it, when nobody else was decreeing it, when nobody else was prophetically spewing it or communicating it or articulate, when nobody else had said anything about it, three years ago, the Lord said to me, that women were about to begin to occupy seats of power and authority in our day and time like never seen before. And I'm going to tell you something, and you better hear me by the Holy Ghost. It's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. There was a man by the name of Barack and a woman by the name of Deborah who were about to go to war. And Barack, a man, a supposedly leader, said to Deborah, if you go with me, I'll go. Deborah said to Barack, she says, listen, I will go with you. But she said this to Barak in the book of Judges. She says, it will not be to your glory. For God will give Sisera into the hands of a woman. And the scripture says, as the word of God will have it, God gave Sisera into the hands of a woman by the name of J.L., J-A-E-L. Victory is about to be given into the hands of women everywhere. Every man that's been blessed with a woman, you ought to thank God because I, I'm telling you whether you like it or not, I'm talking to brothers now, whether you like it or not, whether you support it or not, whether you're with it or not, there is an anointing upon the life of women everywhere to manifest and to bring into fruition victory. God has placed an anointing of victory upon the lives of women everywhere. I don't care if you don't agree with it as a brother. I don't care if you don't support it as a brother. It doesn't matter what you agree with. It doesn't matter what you support. I'm telling you what the Holy Ghost is doing. There is an anointing of victory that has been released upon women everywhere. Deborah said to Barack, she says, if you want me to go to war with you, I will, but I want you to know in advance that it shall not be to your glory, for God shall give Sisera into the hands of a woman. And the scripture says that God gave Sisera into the hands of a woman by the name of J.L. A woman by the name of J.L. got the victory. There is an anointing of victory. By God, I feel this in my spirit tonight. I said there is an anointing of victory that's resting upon women everywhere. And it doesn't matter if brothers don't agree. It doesn't matter if brothers don't support you. It doesn't matter if brothers don't back you. It doesn't matter if brothers don't push you. It doesn't matter if brothers don't endorse you. God is backing you. God is pushing you. God has anointed you. And God
has endorsed you. There is a JL anointing that's resting upon women everywhere. If you don't know who JL is, J A E L, go to the book of Judges and read about her. If you don't know who JL is, there was a JL anointing that's resting upon women everywhere. A J, watch this now. The JL anointing is an anointing of victory because it was JL, J A E L, that God gave victory to. He didn't give victory to Barak, the man. He gave victory to JL, J A E L, the woman. It's in the book of Judges. I decree and declare tonight that an anointing of victory is resting upon women everywhere. I love my brothers. I thank God for my brothers, but I'm telling you what God is doing in this season. I want every woman here tonight to lift up your hands and thank God for the JL anointing. Thank God for the anointing of victory that God is about to give into your hands. Barack would not go to battle by himself. But he says to Deborah, he says, listen, if you go with me, I'll go. Deborah says, I'll go with you. She says, but it shall not be to your glory, for God shall give Sisera into the hands of a woman. God, in other words, God shall give victory into the hands of a woman. Every man out there tonight. You ought to thank God for the woman that God has blessed you with, for the woman that God has anointed, for the woman that God has breathed upon, for the woman that God has endorsed. You ought to thank God for a woman tonight. I decree and declare the J-L, the J-A-E-L, the J-L anointing upon everyone on tonight an anointing of victory, holistic victory, and not defeat. Can I get every woman out there to lift up your hands right now? Every woman, every woman, those of you in whom are watching me presently and those in whom are going to watch this scope uh, in the aftermath, you're going to watch, watch it. You're going to watch the replay. Lift up your hands and thank God for the JL anointing that's resting upon you in this hour. An anointing of victory, whereby God is about to give everything into your hands. Are y'all inviting followers tonight? Because God's blessed the people. I said, are y'all inviting followers tonight because God is blessing the people. Glory. 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 Women. I gave this word three years ago. I'm going to decree and declare it again. I said, I gave this word three years ago when nobody else was talking about it, and I am going to decree and declare it again. Women are about to occupy seats of power and seats of authority like we have never seen in our day and in our time. And there will be no angel in heaven. There will be no man or woman on earth 
And there will be no devil in hell that will be able to stop them because God has breathed upon them. God has touched them. God has graced them. And God has endorsed them. I can't read the book of Judges. Read the book of Judges concerning the story of Deborah and Barak. Barak, the man of God, was about to go to battle. And he said to Deborah, he says, listen, the only way I will go to battle is if you go with me. And Deborah, the prophetess, said to Barak, she says, listen, I will go with you, but I want you to have an understanding, watch this now, that it will not be to your glory. It will not be to your victory. She says, for God shall give Sisera into the hands of a woman. God is not going to give Sisera into the hands of a man. God will not give victory into the hands of a man. She said, for God will give victory into the hands of a woman. And he gave victory into the hands of a woman by the name of Jael, J-A-E-L. There is a Jael victory resting upon women all throughout the earth in this hour, there is an anointing of victory that has been released from heaven. Every man of God in whom the Lord has given a woman to who desires to please and bless God with every fiber of her being in this season and in this hour, you ought to thank God because God is about to strategically use and position women to bring victory into the earth. I'm gonna say it again. I said God is about to strategically use women to bring victory to the earth. Just as he did in the days of Deborah and Barak and Jael, God will not give victory into the hands of a man. It will be given into the hands of a woman. Joe Biden may be president, but he's going to listen to a whole lot of what Kamala has to say because God is going to use her. And he may not even understand why he's yielding so much to what she has to say. He, he may not even understand why he's bowing to so much of what she has to say. He may not even understand why he's referencing to, to what she has. But God, even though Joe Biden will be the president, God is going to use Kamala Harris greatly because the Jael anointing has been released in the earth according to the book of Judges. God spoke through Deborah the prophetess to speak to Barak. She says, I am going to go to battle with you, but God will not give victory into your hands. I'm gonna go to battle with you but it will not be to your glory for God shall give Sisera into the hands of a woman. God is going to use women greatly everywhere. Whether men agree with it or not, it doesn't even matter. 
Whether you support it or not, it doesn't matter. Whether you endorse it or not, it doesn't matter. Not by, for this shall not be by power, nor shall it be by might, but by my spirit, saith the living God. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. 49 days left in the year of 2020. Seven weeks left within the year of 2020. God sent me here tonight. God sent me here tonight. The Lord sent me here tonight to encourage those who are on the verge of giving up to encourage those who are on the verge of waving the white flag of surrender to encourage those who are on the verge of laying down and die God sent me here tonight to tell you that there are yet 49 days left in the year of 2020 and seven weeks. Don't you dare give up on the Holy Ghost. The God in whom you serve was able to create creation within six days. Do you not believe he can give you a miracle within 49 days? I'm going to get up close and personal because I want you to get this. If the God in whom you serve was able to create creation within six days, do you not believe that God can heal you within 49 days? If the God in whom you serve was able to create creation within six days. Do you not believe that he can raise you up and lift you up within 49 days? I decree and declare that God can give you a miracle within 49 days just because he created creation within six days. I was walking into my home right at about 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time a couple of nights ago. If you believe, lift up your hands right now and say, God, I believe. I said, if you believe, lift up your hands. Mm, mm, mm. I said, if you believe, lift up your hands right now and say, God, I believe. As I was walking into my home right about maybe 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time a couple of nights ago, and as I was going upstairs, when having entered into my bedroom, I heard the spirit of the Lord say, it ain't over yet. Who God, I felt that in my spirit. I was, I was walking in, in my bedroom, Tanya. I was walking in my bedroom and at about 7.45 p.m. as I was going upstairs, I entered into my bedroom. I heard the spirit of the Lord say, it ain't over yet. Can somebody type it ain't over yet? Come on, type it and let the devil hear you. It ain't over yet. And I heard in my spirit again, it ain't over yet. And I heard it in my spirit 
yet again, it ain't over yet. And after having heard it a third time in my spirit, it ain't over yet, it ain't over yet, it, it ain't over yet. I heard the Lord say, tell my people it ain't over yet. Can I get somebody to type it again? It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. I didn't get it in January, but it ain't over yet because there's 49 days left. I didn't get it in February, but it ain't over yet because there's 49 days left. I didn't get it in the month of March but it ain't over yet because there's 49 days. I didn't get it in the month of April, May, June, and July, and August, but it ain't over yet because there's 49 days. I didn't get it in the year of September and October, but it ain't over yet because there are 49 days left. Got a question for you. Can you believe God for a miracle within 49 days? Where's your faith? Can you believe God for a miracle? within 49 days. It didn't happen within the span of five months. But can you believe God for 49 days? And I heard the Lord say, tell my people It ain't over yet. And immediately, my spirit was taken to the scene found in Exodus chapter 14 concerning the children of Israel and their exodus from Egyptian captivity. The word exodus actually comes from the Hebraic word holdos, which by way of interpretation means a way out. Lift up your hands right now and decree and declare out of your own mouth, say God has already given me a ray out. God's about to give me. God's about to suspend. God's about to give me a supernatural way out of this situation. God's about to give me a divine hodos. God's about to give me a extraordinary supernatural exodus. First Corinthians 10 and 13 says, there had no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man, but God is faithful. Even when we are unfaithful, even when we're not faithful, God's faithful. He's consistent. God is still faithful and he's still consistent. He's 
He still loves us. He still directs us. He still uh, con uh, uh, leads us. He still he still guides us. He he still forgives us. He still he still believes us. He he's faithful. His faithfulness towards us is continuous and and consistent and con and and continuously and cause toward us. The Lord, the Lord loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God is about to give you God's about to give you an exodus. God's about to give you a divine holdos. The Lord Ayarabakaya is about to give you a supernatural way out. Mm-hmm. I say God's about to give you an exodus. God's about to give you a hodos. He's about to give you a supernatural way out. I will never allow you, God says, to go through nothing that you don't have the ability to go through. And even though you can't see it, the way out has already been made. Listen to me. This is the hour of the exodus. I said this is the hour of the exodus. This is the hour of the divine way out. This is the hour of your of your exodus, your your hodos. God's about to deliver you. God says this in First Corinthians chapter ten, right about verse thirteen. It says, "But God is faithful." First Corinthians chapter 10, right about verse 13 says, but God is faithful who will not allow you to suffer or allow you to suffer or to be tempted above that ye are able. God says, I know how much you can take and I will never allow you to be tempted above what I know you can take but god is god but god first corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says but god is faithful he's faithful when we're not faithful he's committed to us when we're not committed to him he's consistent to us when we're not consistent to him but god is faithful he is committed he's consistent he's cons are you with me 
But God is faithful. He will not suffer or allow us to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation or the test, God or the trial, God says, I'm, I've already prepared the way of escape so that ye might be able to bear it. Because he's a faithful God. He loves us when we don't love him. He he directs us. He covers us. He leads us. He's guides us. He's a, he's a faithful God. He's faithful. He's faithful. I said he's faithful. He's faithful to you when you're not faithful to him. He's committed to you when you're not committed to him. He's consistent with you when you're not even consistent with him. The Lord said, tell the people of God that this is the season of their divine hodos. Their supernatural exodus. He says, tell the people that that this is the season of their divine hodos. This is the season of their divine hodos, their supernatural exodus. Some of us right now tonight, and please hear me when I say this, you're feeling like the children of Israel. When you're about to cross the Red Sea, you feel like there's water in front of you. You feel like there's mountains on either side of you. You feel like there's way, you feel like there's, 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 there's Pharaoh and his army behind you. Situations and challenges on either side of you the devil behind you. Some of you all are in a season now where you where you just feel hard pressed. You feel like there's absolutely no way out. Mountains on either side of you. Waters in front of you. Pharaoh and his army behind you. Challenges on either side of you. Frustrations before you the devil behind you, and you feel as though there is absolutely no way out. God told me to tell you tonight that this shall be your season of the miraculous, the divine hodos, the supernatural exodus. The Lord is about to give you a way where there is no way. I want you all over this building to lift up your hands and thank God in advance for a supernatural exodus. Come on, lift up your hands and thank God in advance for a divine exodus. Lift up your hands and thank God in advance for a miraculous exodus.
Come on, lift up, lift up the hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to go to the website now, www.prophetmitchell.org. Or you can go to the Cash App dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. And I want you to sow a divine exodus seed of $39 and 99 cents. I feel the anointing right now. I, I said, I feel the anointing right now. You are going to be sowing into an, an anointing. Somebody says, Father told me earlier he would give me confirmation of what he told me. Thank, thank you. Listen, listen. I want you to sow this right now. I want you to sow a divine exodus seed of $39.99. Sow a divine exodus seed, a supernatural hodos, H-O-D-O-S seed. The word hodos simply means a way out. I decree and declare that within the next 49 days, I don't care what you're going through within the next 49 days, within the next seven weeks, God is going to create a way. He's going to make a way where there is no way. There is going to be a supernatural exodus. There's going to be a divine holdos for you with your name on it. I want you to go to the website, www dot profitmitchell dot org or you can go to my website herm h e r m mitch m i t c h and I want you to begin to sow I want you to begin to sow a divine hodos h o d o s hodos seed I want you to begin to sow a divine miraculous seed and watch what God begins to do for you. There are 49 days yet left in this year. I decree and declare that within the 49 days that are left, the miracle power, the miracle working power of God shall be released and unleashed upon your life in ways and in manners and in dimensions by which you have never seen before in your life. The miracle working power of God is about to re be released upon you and your friends and your family. W www.prophetmitchell.org or you can go to the cash app dollar sign Herm H-E-R-M Mitch M-I-T-C-H and I want you to sow a song of $39. I want you to sow a seed rather of $39.99 a seed that will bless you. I, a seed I'm telling you decreeing and declaring communicating and articulating that God will indeed give you houses full of good things that you didn't feel. That he'll give you wells that you didn't dig. He'll give you vineyards that you didn't even plant. That is the word of the Lord. www.prophetmitchell.org or www. I want you to, within the next, I want you to, I want you to sow a seed. I want you to sow a seed. I want, are you with me? Watch God give you a supernatural way out. Watch He give you a whole dose within the next seven weeks, 49 days. 49 days, seven weeks. I want you to sow a seed of $39.99. Watch God give you favor. 
in 39 days, the favor of God is about to hit your house. Katarabakaya. On levels and in dimensions like you have never seen before. www.profitmitchell.org or dollar sign Herm for the cash up Mitch dollar sign Herm H E R M Mitch M I T C H. I want you to sow thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I want you to sow that Exodus seed an Exodus seed of thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. There is a supernatural, divine deliverance, a supernatural divine deliverance, a supernatural divine deliverance come into your house. And those in whom houses you pray for I'm out of here. Thirty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cent. www.profitmitchell.org, or you can go to the Cash App. Dollar sign Herm H E R M Mitch M I T C H, and I want you to sow that seed on tonight. That Exodus seed. That supernatural divine holdo seed, that way out seed. I'm telling you, God is about to give you a supernatural way out of whatever it is you have been dealing with for the last 14, 15, 17, 20 years of your life. Something supernatural, something divine. Something historical, something life changing is about to happen for you. www.profitmitchell.org. www.profitmitchell.org. I want you to show that divine miracle seed and watch the miracle working power of God work within your behalf. Blessings to all of you. Now, I love you. I'm out.